Hundreds of construction workers at a new power station near Newark have voted to end their wildcat strike over alleged health and safety breaches. It follows the sacking of a worker at the Staleythorpe site who's thought to be responsible, as Mark Ansell reports. This morning, for the third day running, hundreds of construction workers were on strike over claims that scaffolding had been interfered with by two Spanish workers at the gas power station. The result of the count, 225 for the proposal, 150. Now they voted to go back to work tomorrow after the contractor, Alstom, sacked one of the Spanish employees who's thought to be responsible. But many of the workers think little will change. I don't think this will be the end of it on the safety issue because they've had plenty of time to sort the safety and they haven't done it. It takes something like this, or it, or it takes the cameras to come before the door about oh, you know, that will change. Although the union didn't support the strike, they're pleased it's now over. I mean, we have to recognise that this is a victory for the demonstrators. Whilst we don't condone the unofficial dispute, they, they've been uh, vindicated with their views that this was an unsafe practice. And the GMB union's view is we need to get members back in work and, and try and fight disputes from the inside the, the gates, not outside, where we feel got more influence and a stronger voice. One immediate issue remains unresolved. Workers want to be paid for the days they've been on strike. This dispute may well not end here.